I state your name. I, Dominic Aiello. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That you will support the Constitution of the United States. That I'll support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And that you will bear true faith and allegiance. And I will bear true faith and allegiance. To the same. To the same. And to the governments established. And to the governments established. In the United States and in this state. In the, and in the United States and in this state. Under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. And that you will faithfully. And that I will faithfully. Impartially. Impartially. And justly. And justly. Perform all the duties. Perform all the duties. Of the office of township councilman. Of the office of township councilman. For the township of West Caldwell. For the township of West Caldwell. According to the best of your ability. According to the best of my abilities. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. I state your names. I am Richard Otterbein. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That you will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And that you will bear true faith and allegiance. And that I will bear true faith and allegiance. To the same. To the same. And to the governments established. And to the governments established. In the United States and in this state. In the United States and in this state, under the authority of the people, under the authority of the people, and that you will faithfully, and that I will faithfully, impartially, impartially, and justly perform, and justly perform all the duties, all the duties of the office of township council, of the duties of office of the township council, for the township of West Cole, for the township of West Cole, according to the best of your ability, according to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. <laughs> James Alwine. To solemnly swear. To solemnly, solemnly swear. That you, you will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And that you will bear true faith. And will bear true faith. And allegiance. And allegiance. To the same. To the same. And to the governments established. The governments established. In the United States. The United States. And in this state. And in this state. Under the authority of the people. And under the authority of the people. And that you will faithfully, I will faithfully, impartially, impartially, and justly perform, justly perform all the duties, all the duties of the office of fire chief, of the office of fire chief for the West Cole Volunteer Fire Department, for the West Cole Volunteer Fire Department, according to the best of your ability, according to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, Chief. I swear that you support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey, and that you bear true faith and allegiance to the same and to the governments established in the United States and in this state under the authority of the people, and that all of you will faithfully and partially and justly perform all the duties of your respective offices according to the best of your abilities to help you, God. Please say, I will. I will. Congratulations. The fire officers in West Florida. Our citizens who are going to be taking over various positions. Do you solemnly swear that you will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey, that you will bear true faith and allegiance to the same and to the governments established in the United States and in this state under the authority of the people, and that you will faithfully, impartially, and just, justly perform the duties of your position according to the best of your ability? I do. Mayor Tempesta, which is that he doesn't have a speech ready. I'm just going to say a few congratulations and a few things. And, I, and again, I say uh, Happy New Year to everyone and welcome to our annual reorganization meeting. Uh, special congratulations to Councilman Aiello and Susan and the family for, for uh, being reelected and welcome back. Same thing for Rich, Carol, and the family. Welcome back. Councilman Halatic, congratulations on uh, your ascension to Council President. I look forward to working with you and uh, obviously uh, setting the agenda for the people this year and for the governing body. I'm, I'm sure we'll, we'll have a lot of work uh, cut out for us, but I know we'll get through it. Uh, congratulations again to Judge Stecker on her reappointment. And of course, a big congratulations to Chief Jim Alvine. Again, another round of applause for, for them. <laughs> Congratulations to all of our professionals, all of our volunteer fire officers and volunteer firemen and women who serve, our first aid squad members, and uh, of all of our citizen appointments. Again, I say every year, 
Uh, you are the backbone of our community, and, and communities like ours, that's how we uh, how we're able to continue to provide the services to the people of West Cole. And without you, we couldn't do it. So I thank all the volunteers who are so wonderful today. Uh, before we talk about 2012, I've got to talk about 2011. 2011 was, uh, was another challenging year for us. Uh, obviously, uh, probably the highlights of the year uh, were the three major storms that we had back in March. Of course, Hurricane uh, Irene at the end of August and, and the recent storm dubbed the Halloween storm, which was one of the likes I have never seen uh, in my 43 years living in West Caldwell. But we got through it. Obviously, wreaked havoc uh, on our budget, uh, but we, we got through it, and I thank uh, all of our uh, volunteers, all of our employees who work so very hard to clean up the brush and, and have made a lot of sacrifices. Uh, they shared in the sacrifice and, and took uh, no compensation increase for nearly three years. So I want to say from the bottom of my heart, I especially thank our, our, our uh, employees today that have hung in with us. And we've had a lot of retirements as a result of some of the laws that were passed recently by the legislature and signed by the governor. And maybe that was the intention, but it does wreak havoc with us in that we've had to reorganize and restructure and we're continuing to refine. But they deserve a round of applause for hanging in with us. I'm sure it will represent another challenging year. Very simply, I think that, that we need to continue to concentrate on uh, sharing more services with our neighboring communities. We had a very good year uh, this past year and that we were able to get some more things done with uh, our neighbors, particularly up in Cornwall. We finally got our shared service agreement regarding the Corn and Sobel uh, property done. And, and I know Rich Hauser was here, I don't know if he still is, but thank you, Rich, for your efforts, not only for that, but also to finally get the uh, agreement done uh, with Coldwell College. And I know Rich spent a lot of time on that personally, and I, I really want to thank you for that. And I think it's a good time for us to continue to do more shared services together, and I look forward to that. So I encourage the council to continue to do that. We also signed, uh, again, renewed our, our uh, shared services agreements with our surrounding communities, Fairfield and North Coldwell. We provide health services to them, and that contract was renewed earlier this year. And again, that's another sample of, of good government working together for the betterment of its citizens to be as economically efficient as possible. Something that, that I have to ask the council to kind of refocus on this year, we kind of got away from it because of all of the, the storms and the changes at the state level, but we kind of have to get back to basics, uh, really with our infrastructure. We've always talked about this over the years. One of the things we pride ourselves on is trying to continue to maintain our infrastructure. And although we did a few roads this year and we reconstructed, I know Midvale and Glenwood and Howard Circle, we did some preliminary drainage work up on the north end with Sunset, but we need to continue to get that project done. But in my opinion, we need to do more streets and we need to find a way to get that done this year. So I think that's a, a big, uh, project will be front and center. We've got to figure out how we're going to do it financially. Stan is not only council president this year, but finance chairman, and we'll have to figure that out. But we really need to get we really need to get the, to touch more like five or eight streets a year instead of two or three. I think we've gotten a little bit behind there. Um, <clears throat> I also think uh, one of the things that we need to uh, concentrate on is, again, some of our, we talked about with our real estate and pool committees, what we're going to do long term with our pools. Uh, I think this year is the year that we'll probably finally, by the end of the year, hopefully get a, a comprehensive engineering report on exactly what needs to be done and a cost-benefit analysis to be done to finally figure out what we're going to do with our pools. And, and, you know, the issue, ladies and gentlemen, is very simple. Uh, they're great. They're, they're a great thing to have. We come, one of the major drawing points to live in this community, to work, live, and raise a family, is our town pools but they're just not financially sustainable to maintain two. A lot of towns don't have any town pools, so we need to figure out a way how to make one of our pools even bigger and better, and perhaps, perhaps we may have to shut down one of our pools. We don't know. But financially, I can tell you it's been a struggle the last four or five years, and from an infrastructure perspective, we were told by former uh, municipal engineer, Marta Rana, about five years ago that he said in the next five to ten years, you're going to have to do some major work at those two pools. And when I say major work, you're talking about in the magnitude of a million to two or maybe even three million dollars. 
That's an awful lot of money to put in. And the only way you can, you can do that is through the utility itself. We, we, we certainly work diligently to, to, to provide all the services, uh, even given the uh, hurricane, earthquake, snowstorm, nor'easter, which we all blame Council Wolski for because it's the first term, the first year on Council. But, uh, you know, we, we made it through. I'd like to see, um, as the mayor pointed out, being a little bit more proactive on the council now. Uh, I mean, we were reactive by, not by choice. Uh, you know, a lot of things got thrown at us in a, in a very trying time, but uh, I'd like to be a little bit more proactive in, in, in planning out the future. Um, I also agree with the mayor on, on uh, not, you know, merging. Well, out of blind, it's your day today. You might have a few words to say. Uh, I think that's the mayor's big <coughs> word. <coughs> keep it so short. Uh, I'll be brief as well. Um, I, I did want to thank everybody. Uh, and just to, uh, prior to saying all my thank yous, uh, we are uh, having a lunch reception following here uh, at 1 p.m. I told them to have the food ready. Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I'd like to start off by um, congratulating uh, Stephen Dom on his re-election. Dan on his election as council president. I look forward to uh, working with Stan in uh, in a very progressive agenda this year. Um, and I'd like to thank all the colleagues up here. Um, we did have an interesting year. We worked hard. I think uh, I worked harder this year than I've worked in a long time as a councilman. Um, in the past, we had um, uh, a lot less on our plate than we've had this year with weather issues and, and major projects going on. Um, but we weathered the storm, so to speak, and um, we worked hard, and, and I think uh, with all the colleagues here uh, uh, working at generally in harmony, uh, we did a, uh, a good job for the township, and uh, I think uh, we spent the taxpayers' money well this year, and it was not easy. Um, I'd like to thank the employees and volunteers also, uh, especially the employees, um, with less staff, as you know, from years to year, as years go on, uh, with less staff, you have to work harder. And certainly our employees uh, put out the best they could this year. And uh, uh, I appreciate that for all the employees that are here. Thank you very much. And for uh, the volunteers, we couldn't run without you. And we certainly appreciate you volunteers who help us um, make the township what it is without you. It couldn't work. Um, I'd like to thank those that I've worked with this year, especially people at the Board of Health, the uh, Health Board itself, emergency services people, um, police department, Chief Graham Hall is in the back, Chief, thank you very much, fire department, the new officers, Jim Alvine, I wish him well, I look forward to working with him this year, West Essex First Aid Squad, great organization, uh, the Office of Emergency Management, also, uh, Tremendous job this year, under a lot of pressure. Uh, the Office of Emergency Management has to handle all um, the um, handle all the dollars and look at the dollars that have to be sent to FEMA, uh, which we have to send uh, in order to get reimbursed for some of the uh, major damage that we've had uh, due to the environmental conditions. And uh, so the Office of Emergency Management uh, was very, very busy this year with all that we went through environmentally. Um, I'd just like to make a pitch for volunteering. If uh, you have the time, it would be a good thing if you had uh, your wherewithal, the wherewithal to uh, volunteer for uh, the fire department, the West Desk First Aid Squad, they can always use the help. Um, being a volunteer fireman for 40 years now, it's, it's a wonderful thing to get back to the community. I'd like to thank my family. We're all here today. <coughs> Uh, Carol, Jennifer, who uh, I think this is the first time she's been here in a while because she's generally either overseas or in South America or doing something to, uh, to forward uh, 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 God somewhere. And, uh, you know, Jen, it's good to have you here. Meredith, Carl, Eric, Jennifer, and my nephew, Billy, who is uh, my brother's oldest, who uh, has kind of stepped in to become a uh, one of the family heads. So, uh, Billy, I appreciate you coming here today. Thank you. From the Otterbein family, and I, 
I just want to reiterate what Tom said a little bit. Um, we, um, we've had an interesting year. We continue to work hard, and I think we'll work hard next year, and hopefully we'll continue to... Um, you will faithfully, and that I will faithfully, impartially, impartially, and justly perform, and justly perform all the duties, all the duties of the office of township council, of the duties of office of the township council for the township of West Cole, for the township of West Cole, according to the best of your ability, according to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God.